Hey, it's Andrew from PracticalMaker.com. Today, we have an Arduino with an LED and a wire. Wow, we actually have more than that. We actually have some uh, really cool code that I'm writing. And basically what it's allowing for is you basically upload the sketch to your Arduino and you can configure it to do things based on sensor inputs. Right now, only the Arduino is fully written for, but I intend to add the real-time clock, the uh, port expander shield, which adds uh, like 24 output digital outputs on I2C, uh, BNC shield, the TLC5940, so you'd be able to do things like uh, turn digital pin, or turn uh, write PWM value 200 when time equals 8 o'clock, uh, and then turn it off when it equals 9 o'clock p.m., uh, things like that. Right now it's only read a digital pin, do something on a digital pin if this value is true, or on the analog pins, take the reading from the analog pin. If it's less than your stored reading, do something. If it's greater than your stored reading, do something. Uh, so you can see we have the... that. Uh, all right. So, first up, we have the commands that are currently supported. We have Arduino address. Now, in the future, um, I'm going to add it in. So you kind you send the Arduino address first, and if it if the Arduino address that you're sending it to matches, for example, this Arduino's address is 121. And so you send a 121. If it's like, oh yeah, I'm 121, so it would listen for the commands. You just echo, or you just send that, and all the Arduinos would print their addresses back to you. We also have pin mode, which allows you to actually dynamically set and store the pin mode. So if you you can set the pin mode like during runtime, and it'll also when you set that pin mode, it'll write that to the EEPROM, so the next time it starts up, that pin will have exactly the same status, input-output, um, as when you changed it. Actually, we'll show you an example of that right now. So I'm going to change the... right now we're at pin 11. I'm going to change pin 11 to an input. So I type in pin mode. I type in pin 11 and zero as an input and basically it turned right off. So now if I go pin mode 11 as an output it'll turn back on. You can also set the pin status. Um, where did that go? Anyways, set pin status uh, 11 to off and set pin status 11 to on and so in the debugging thing basically debugging can be turned on and off if you turn it off it'll save you a bunch of code well code size actually so you can see that uh, when we did this we sent pin 11 mode 0 um, so that said turn it into an input then we said turn it back into an output then we said turn pin 11 off and then we said turn pin 11 back on now if we go into here I just I think I deleted something ah yes I did okay so now we go back into the Arduino code here's where it gets really cool is the uh, digital macros and the analog macros and you can reset them so you if you wanted to reset all the macros you set up you just send r set d macro and to reset the analog macros you send r set a macro and uh so basically we want to send we want to set up a, a digital macro so we are going to type in uh, digital do something when whoops not there I keep typing it into the wrong one okay so digital do something when set 
Okay, so the first macro, you have to send the macro number. Eventually it will be able to print out all the macros that you've set up. I just haven't gotten around to that yet. So the first macro, we want to watch pin 2 for a high, and then we want pin 11 to have an output of, let's say, 130. Okay, and now you can see going through analog write 130 to pin 11. That's just a debugging thing. Now we want to set up the other half of this. So when it goes low, so digital do something when set uh, macro 1, uh, watch pin 2, for a low, pin 11, change it to a PWM of 25. Now it's always going to be three digits because a PWM value can go up to 255 and I was just lazy and you send three bytes and it'll reconstruct them. Okay, so now you can see analog write 130 and when I pull it out you can see analog write 25. So I'm just going to go down to the Arduino and uh, hook it up to a high and there you can see it goes up and down up and down and you could set up multiple macros for one output pin 2 so you could say if pin 2 goes low turn pin 11 to 140 if pin 3 goes low turn pin 11 to you know 170 things like that uh, you can't and them together yet I, don't, I actually haven't got any clue how to do that um, but, yeah, it might come in the future after I've integrated the rest of the shields that I want to integrate. So, this is basically what I've been working on to the successor of the Aquarian quote code. Uh, simply because it's more modular, people that don't have my setup can just hook up some shields, type in some commands into the, uh, into the uh, serial control thing, set up it, set it up, and away they go. And so it's also designed for different control options. Um, so let's say if you want to use Ethernet and not serial control, if you comment out the, uh, there's a defined serial control at the top, if you comment out that, it'll, it won't include that code in your sketch. And, uh, basically it's very much so the code will be maybe 50 kilobytes big and uh, you just include the modules that you want to have and uh, compile it and set it up and your you could do a thousand and one different things with this code so code will be up on the website uh, there will be a link in the uh, box right there for the description and any comments or suggestions are welcome I'm hoping to get a bunch of shields integrated into the code to show you really the power of it uh, shortly. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon.